It's a beautiful Sunday morning once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, in the previous videos that we had, we made mention about the importance of the spawning tank preparation for our Japanese koi. And it was followed by a video wherein we were able to film the actual spawning of our breeder koi. I am so glad that we have hatched thousands of koi fry. Actually, this is the fifth day and as I observed, some of them are already freely swimming that they need now their first food. And their first food is none other than the dapnya. Yes, you heard it right. There is no other food that I can recommend except the dapnya or the baby brine shrimps. But this baby brine shrimps is really very costly because it cost us around 1,500 per kilo of this baby brine shrimps. That's why since we have too many of this dapnya here in our place, I chose to just give them the dapnya because we will not be spending money for this. So now I'm going to tour you to the place where I will get this dapnya. So we will go to the place and please be with me guys. So guys, we're here and uh, we have to go down. It's a very deep, that's why we have to take extra precautions. So you will see right down there, there's someone else gathering that. Yeah. So I have here this uh, ice box and of course we, you will note that I also have this uh, ice cubes. Uh, this is good if uh, you're going to travel your that. Yeah. What is that? Oh. So guys, we are here and we actually met this young man and he said that he's been inspired by our videos. That's why he also tried his luck in fish breeding and fish keeping. We will have some sort of an interview with this guy. Uh, what's your name? This is Luigi Igaldes. We have a lot of fish. We have a lot of fish. Molly, koi, pati molly koi, pati mga gapi. Uh, Kita naman ang dito yung kuidada ng mga pescaw. Iba namin, Tewan. Para ang kontra tayo dito sen. Ang kontra tayo dito sen. Ma, sem, alman, akelo, mga mga five ang sina po diyan. Five thousand, five thousand a month. So that's a big money for this young man. Ah, uh, tayo studio pa ba tu? Si Centro. Centro to school ah. Ma, kosa yiri at wara. So grade nine. Ah, uh, senior. Junior, junior high school and uh, he's uh, he's doing a lot to earn money out of the hobby uh, Alegre ba ito ko sa taas eh? Si, alegre ba ito? Tamira ba ito din yung YouTube? Si, Tamira Tinebes, at ang mga dito yung mga tips patilayatan breeding mga mga gapi at patilayatan ito yung mga agalo mga koi ako sa el agalo Yes, yeah, so I'm so glad that we have influenced other people, and uh, I'm so I'm so happy to know that he's been watching our videos and he was inspired, and he took steps to begin his luck in fish keeping and fish uh, breeding. 
And I'm happy for this guy. Continue lang ko kung sa trabaho. <laughs> Dilihos pa dito yung lugar? Dilihos, Pasunangka. Pasunangka, Cheto Motor. Bike lang. At ang bike lang, imagine. He's situated in a far place, far from here. And he used his bicycle just to get this dap niya for his fish. So what an inspiration. So now we will transfer to another place where we can gather more dap niya. What a sacrifice that it pays because if you will see that your koi fry will grow then all this effort will be compensated and you will see happily this koi growing. This is my encouragement to all fish hobbyists. If you want to try your luck to venture fish farming, well, we have to undergo some difficulties and obstacles. So now, we will proceed to the house and we will feed now this tiny dapnias to our baby koi fry. Come on. With the use of this strainer, we can clean this dapnia. We will get the dirt and this dapnia will now be fed to our baby koi. So this is it now, come on, we will see the fry. I believe that it's not that visible yet, but there are too many fry that are now stick to the plants. Some of them are already swimming freely. As soon as they are hatched, they will eat immediately their yolks, that's their first food. And after eating the yolk, they will now become a free swimming fry. And that's the time that we're gonna introduce our dapnia to the fry. Oh, it's not really that visible, but I can spot that there are already fry that are swimming. So that's why I said that we have to regulate giving of this uh, dapnia because if we will overfeed or if we will put much, then it will do harm than good for our fry. And you will also note that some of the eggs are not hatched. In fact, I believe that only 40 to 50 percent are hatched out of this batch. This is also a crucial stage because this unhatched eggs will also become the source of the bacteria because it will be rotten. It will even contaminate the water. So what we will do is to flush very gently, add some new water to the tank so that the water will become fresh again. And that, this is what I am doing. You look at this hose. This hose is connected to this tank and it sucks water from here, from this tank going here. And the purpose of this is to gently put some new water in order to prevent this water from being contaminated. We are trying to put at least 10-20% new water to this tank right now. So guys, we will make sure that we will not feed the fry with dead dapnia because as what I have said this dead dapnia will certainly be the cause for the contamination of the water. To make sure that we can get fresh dapnia of course I have said earlier that we need to put ice for them to be saved from dying. So we will put this one here. Wow, that's it. Good duck. So who will eat first? So guys, this is the most crucial thing. Per experience, I really had hard times growing this fry because of some mistakes. Well, 
I have learned a lot from my mistakes and I would like to share this to you because I don't want you to suffer the same. Maybe some of you have already experienced that after how many days from these eggs being hatched, the koi fry will just suddenly disappear. This is because of some reasons. One is the water is contaminated already because of the poison that have been caused by the unhatched eggs. Number two is that we failed to provide them with live food. And number three, we failed to flush or to add new water very gently to the spawning tanks. And these are the things that we must observe if we wanted that our koi fry will survive. And somebody have asked, Dexter, we don't have this daphnia and also we don't have available baby brine strips. Is there any other alternative food for the koi? Well, I can suggest that if you don't have daphnia or if you don't have this baby brine strips, you can use the, the egg yolk, but then it's really very crucial because when the egg yolk will stay in the pan for more than four hours, it will become spoiled and it will, of course, contaminate the water. You're inviting bacteria that will cause sudden death to the fish. So it's good really to give live food because this live food will thrive in the tank and they will still become fresh even if they are not consumed so they will wait until the time that they're gonna be eaten by this small fry without contaminating the water so it's a caveat it's a warning for those of you who are giving this egg yolk you have to monitor that your unconsumed egg yolk will not stay in the tank for more than four hours after four hours it will surely contaminate the water it will invite bacteria and it will even cause sickness to our baby fry and another thing that you may ask is dexter do we really need to provide oxygen or air pump in this tank well it's not needed because some others, especially my friends in the far flung areas, they're not using air pumps. But in my case, I prefer to use air pump because it will move the water and it will provide good oxygen to our fry. So we're gonna give you an update how many days from now and I hope and pray that we can give you a good result out of what we are doing. But I'm very positive that we can produce thousands of baby coins out of this batch alone. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And if you are not subscribed yet to this channel, please subscribe because we are going to upload too many videos about techniques and basic tips on how to do fish farming and we are envisioning in the future to give you also some tips on how to hatch the eggs of this catfish so thank you for watching only here at Dexter's World